Hi everybody and welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Hood with a twist. We are, I'm so excited. What do I say all the time? I'm so excited. I am because we are going to be making a dish that I've been wanting to make for a while. Um, but let me tell you, when I woke up this morning it's one degrees. Um, so I'm so hot because the, the sun is so bright. But anyways, and now it's 16 degrees. Today we are making a lasagna, but what's cool about this is we are going to be cooking it in the slow cooker. Yep. This guy. Yep, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, um, we got the recipe from, I know she doesn't want to give me a shout out, give her a shout out, but from Chris, my friend here, she didn't want me to. So, I'm gonna give her a shout out because she gave me this, she told me about the recipe. So I'm gonna twist it up um, and it's gonna be yummy. But here's your other ingredients. All right, so first our meats. We're gonna be using some bacon, maybe about six slices of bacon. Ground beef, about half a pound. Um, we already cooked it, as you can see, and uh, it already has onions and garlic cooked into it so I'm not sure if you guys uh, want to add you know whatever you want with in it but that's what we did for ours um, also we have a couple of sauces we're gonna need a red sauce whatever you like and a white sauce obviously whatever you like also this this one has four cheese and the other one has roasted garlic for cheeses we're gonna need the wet cheeses we're gonna use ricotta and uh, cottage cheese we're gonna combine those a little bit and then we're also gonna put egg and one egg and a nut bag a dash of nut bag um for the cheeses for uh, ex the other uh the dried cheeses we're going to be using mozzarella and parmesan um and then obviously we're going to need our slow cooker and um one of these uh oven ready lasagna so you don't have to cook them and that's it okay step one what i told joe to do was when he was putting garlic and um onions and the meat. I told him to save a little, see? Mm -hmm. Save a little for me right here. So that's what he did. Because I wanted to, I mean. add it. Right oh, I'm dropping this. Oh, good catch. All right, Stuck because I wanted it. Spin that up. Not like that. Not like that, but... Okay, that was a fail, but at least we got it in. Um, the reason I told him to do this was I wanted to... I wanted... I don't know, let me look at this out. I wanted to put the sauces in, um, and then infuse the sauce with the garlic and the onion taste. So, we're going to put the sauces in right now. Um, uh, Help. Put the rest later. Got it. And there goes one. So we're mixing the white sauce with the red sauce. Oops. Uh, Splashes all over the place. Splash on me. Need splash guard. Um, okay, now I'm mixing it. Look at that. Gorgeous color. You want it to be that color. I wanted to put this with the garlic and onions, remember? I told you I asked Joe to save some. So I can infuse the sauce with the taste of the garlic and the onions. It already smells great. That's the color you want. Isn't that a beautiful color? Look at this. Now it's time to put our lasagna together. Oh, duh, I forgot. I have to um, put the cheeses together before I put the lasagna together. So what we did was it's a, get one egg and put the ricotta. 
It's very slow. Oh, <laughs> it's like magic. It's a bit more harder. Yeah. And just mix it, I guess. You can pour it this. All right. That was like, I did not think that was going to happen. But that all came out. Surprise. Awesome. All right, and then put maybe like... A couple spoons, maybe? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. That's a lot. Okay, that's good. That's good? Yeah, that's a lot of cheese. And then mix it. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. That's good. It already smells so good. Oh, this special ingredient. That's later. Mm. Alright. Mm. You can put that on to the side. How about this one? Oh, a bit of egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot. Put just some egg. Just a dash. Make a dash. That's good. And mix it. Ready. Go. Okay, I think that's done. Oh, I forgot to say, we are also going to put spinach. Now, I think we're good. I think it's time to put this together. So, we're doing a twist on this thing, and we're putting bacon. What um, we did. Because this thong is, we cut them in half. Yeah, they're kind of too long. See? So, so, we did that, and then, now we're going to put it together. The cheese? Oh, I told you about, I just saw, oh. No. We mix the cheeses together. Parmesan and mozzarella. Parmesan and mozzarella. Four. We put this in the other, and let me just talk about the meat. Because it was already given to me. Joe, put it on the stove. Did you put oil? Oil. Put a little oil. Onion, garlic. Onion and garlic. And meat, and gave it to me. You guys know how to make tacos or spaghetti. That's how you. It's not good. Hi, it's time to put this together. Okay. Get some unput. sauce. Oh, sauce. Dang it, I almost forgot. Let me help. Just yeah, you, probably, you just need a thin layer just to make sure. But that's probably just enough. There you go. Love you guys been helping me. You put your noodles. We cut them in half because it doesn't fit, but maybe your slow cooker or whatever it fits so don't, you don't have to cut it in half that's just for us wow <laughs> it's like magic i'm like so linear. About the base. Okay, now what? Okay. Now. Now, now the meat. Meat. Oh dear. Let me do this. Okay, we're supposed to put the cheese first. Yeah, just spread it around. Yeah, a couple of, a couple or three or whatever spoons of it. And then a handful. Handful of these cheeses. And then your meats. Okay, now. Time to put the meats. 
And then we actually, we have a twist. We are twisting it with bacon. Everybody loves bacon. Because I mean, it, we are. <laughs> Who do you know that does not like bacon? Vegetarians. <laughs> and then spinach. All right. Next layer. All right, time for the next layer. Sauce. Mm -hmm. And noodles. Remember about like maybe just put three. Three. For us. Because of how our uh slow cooker and is then spinach. Nope. Oh. Meat. Cheese. Oh yeah. Crap. Good thing it's not bop quiz. Cheese. Good thing it's not bop quiz. Yep. And then finish. And then the meats. Maybe like. More? What is it? Spinach. More spinach. Spinach and then that meat. Ground beef. Ground beef. Spread it around. And then we're gonna pause it and we're gonna finish the rest. Sauce. Almost to the top. Wait, let me just cover this part. I'm sorry. Noodles. The last layer of noodles. Noodles. Yep. Let's put some more sauce. On the cheese. Just so that the noodles will be cooked in the middle of the liquid. That's it. And yeah, pretty much all the cheese. Almost. Wow, okay, we're done. This is going to be the tallest lasagna I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the top layer, I mean, just, I finished it with sauce, noodles, cheese, and wow. I'm excited to share this. Now I'm going to Joel talk about cooking. Well, I mean, basically, we just in a slow cooker so we're just gonna put it on high for two hours and that's it so cover it up <coughs> plug it in and that, that's it hi okay time for the tip um i don't know about you but like 
for me, like, long cords are very in the ball for me. I don't know about this, so maybe you guys um, didn't know about this either. But they had, like, these things at the dollar store or call, um, maybe Amazon or something. And you can get, um, headphones with shorter cords. Um, see, look. Look how small they are. Like, you can, like, um, you can, you can make them long or you can make them short. Like that. So, that's my tip of the day. Um, like I said, I don't know about them, so I'm letting you guys know about them. Uh, they're very convenient, especially for headphones. Um, when you're listening, if you want to put it in your phone or whatever. So, that's it. Um, that's my tip of the day. Tune in next time. Or, actually, tune in in, in a couple seconds so that I can show you the final result of the lasagna once I plate it up. Alright, so this is what it looks like. We just finished, and now we're gonna plate it. Hi! Okay, so this is the final result. Check that out. Mm. Oh, and we put a little parsley and parmesan just to make it look pretty. See? And we made some uh, bread on the side. Let's taste this. Good. Mm. Oh wow. Stein, that was good. Okay. <laughs> that was really good. Oh my gosh, that was so good. That's so good. Even we had a pause there, Joe tasted it. And what do you think, babe? It was great. Alright, well. This is the last look of the lasagna, and we made bread on the side. And I'm gonna eat. Alright. Well, check us out next week. Mm. When we make another delicious meal, you never should miss, and Mr. and Mrs. Food with a twist.